guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Looks like we're looking at a 10 chapter long epi uh, game, apparently. And we just finished chapter one or something. So it's nine hours till dawn. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Well, ex-brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. Well, two of those described Mr. Robot. The Loving's exclusive to this version, to this character. <laughs> Seriously, check out Mr. Robot. That's actually a really good show. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Whoops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? You guys just missed the drama. Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey. You doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Good start to the evening, breaking into the place that we're staying in. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Y you doing all right? Yeah, aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. She might be from Heroes. I mean, pff, from Arrow. It's hard to tell with some of them. Their faces aren't all quite as detailed as you might think. Oh, he's charitable. Got a little bit of a bump with Jess and Josh, but lost his, uh, his honesty, comedy, bravery, and romance for charity. I mean, if it's for charity, it's for a good cause, right? And then they stumble upon the sisters' bodies. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude. Look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill! Maybe you're right. 
You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Man, I'm immediately thinking about doing the, like, what if I do a second playthrough with alternate choices? So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. You gotta steam them buns. The poor person way is to take, take the bun, put a paper towel on it, a wet paper towel, and you microwave it. And you get steamed buns. Or at least you can lie to yourself. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. I just gotta turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside. Or I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone talk? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I could do all this stuff and... Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Nope. Got an app that can get you laid? Well, actually, Dude, there's this... you don't. The answer is that you don't. Well, fine. Hmm. What am I looking at right now? Oh, it's an axe holder. Oh! I thought it was some kind of slot. I was confused. There's an axe holder with no axe on it. A wall-mounted holder that should contain an axe, but the axe is missing. That's always a good sign. All right. It's a good thing we haven't established like there's like an axe murderer type of dude hanging out around. I mean, they don't know that, of course. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. That's always the question in these stories is how long is it going to be before they first realize that they're in a horror situation. Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Well. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so. I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. I'm really freaked out by him being all expressive and happy sounding. Because that is not the actor, that's not the version of that actor that I am familiar with. Alright. So what can I find around here? Nice little depth of field going on here. That's a cool little view. What's down here? Oh, it's a totem. What color? Brown? Jesus. On fire. So, brown is lost. Potential loss of a friend. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought them dreams and premonitions. That's all the same text as before, I don't know why I'm reading that. Wow. So someone is going to potentially burn to death in some sort of explosion. Makes me not want to do the flamethrower thing so much. And driven mad murderers. Alright. You know, just happy signs. So, I assume that we're that the characters themselves don't actually know anything about the totems. They're like, oh look, a piece of wood. Oh well. 
Because it'd be a little weird if they saw these visions and are not in any way reacting to them. There's a sound over here. It's just a rat. I should be fine. Boom, I'm dead. This is ninja rat. Hello? Oh, these fixed camera angles are gonna do me in. I'm just so ready for something to come out of me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. yeah. So, what have we here? Ex-janitor convicted for arson swears revenge on movie mogul's family. Newspaper fragment found a lodged storage room door. The report covers a court case related to Blackwood Pines. An old janitor tried to burn the place down. In the dock, he swore revenge on the Washington family. 5th of June, 1997, the Alberta Bulge. Or Bugle. Sorry. <laughs> Ex-janitor convicted for arson swears revenge on movie mogul's family by Charlie Scott, chief reporter. Victor Milgram, 52, was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram was employed as the janitor of the Mountain's Old Hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her a faggot whore. He vowed to get all of you, you fucking something husband and kids. Oh, that's probably fucking whore. Yeah. <laughs> Calling her a fucking whore, he vowed to get all of you, you fucking husband and kids, and said that he would make them suffer. Belinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure through the case, and later claimed that th though she was upset by Milgram's threats, she had fi uh, full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe. Alright, so arson continue, that's more, that's just a, more evidence there of the, that arson threatening to kill people, which we already knew. Alright, I'm alone in the dark, no big deal, this has never had negative consequences in this kind of fiction before. I'm sure I'll come out just fine. It's back here. Uh... Hello? Oh, hallway. Okay. Is this also a hallway on the side? I think it all- Yep, camera's not following me, so I assume it is. Uh, what's this? Just a painting. Uh, I don't like being alone in the dark like this. Huh. That's cool. It's a family portrait that I can just barely see. Oh! Oh, it's Josh and his sisters and his family. A portrait of the Washington family. Hannah is wearing a distinctive locket. That is very, very thoroughly highlighted. This locket of hers. You think that kind of portrait would almost be a mistake if the locket glows that strongly? Like, oh crap, we gotta take a new photo. We got a, this massive flare in the middle of the camera. Doors closing on its own. What the hell was that? I don't want that. Who's closing doors on me? Don't worry, I'm sure it was just the wind, right? It's always the wind. No one would ever mean me harm. What do we got? No? Huh? Window. Creepy plants and antlers everywhere. Oh, hey, there's everyone. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. It's all in progress. This is all part of my plan. You see... Being spooky was actually part of the process for opening the lock. You just don't understand this because, I don't know, you didn't go to locksmith school of the, from the Ghost Academy. What do we got over here? It's very dark in here. 
Learn to pack flashlights when you're going to the woods at night. Come on, everybody. That could light things up in here. Or be horrifying. Or do nothing. Okay. Now it's going to turn on, on its own. Ooh. Is everything covered in, t in towels? Or sheets, I mean. Keep the dust off the furniture over the year. I always see this in movies. I don't think I've ever seen it in actual real life. No, no lights I can turn on around here? What's back here? Oh, well, there's an, it's that nightmare antler chandelier. It's all the rage in weird diners. Well, hello. Washington, this is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay. Well, that could be problematic. Oop, a little less charitable, less funny and brave, a whole lot more romantic. Less curious, a better relationship with Josh. Well, I'm just on track if I want to fuck Josh, apparently. I don't think that's what he's after, though. A message from a local police officer about a convict being released from jail. Sounds like a warning. So if that's the convict, then we're getting a whole lot of evidence about why that's him attacking us. Any of your business. Sam looked at Chris's incoming message. He was offended by the discretion. Oh, I can swipe. Ooh, there we go. So uh, Sam was... So it's a series of events. So Sam looked at Chris's incoming message. Then uh, Chris was offended by the indiscretion. Chris criticized Sam for being nosy. That's that. Ashley encouraged Matt to use the telescope. Matt saw Mike and Emily flirting. I was wondering, like, this seems like a, a kind of a small number of decisions for a 10 chapter game, apparently, but if they're gonna have multiple pages, that immediately makes more sense. Once bitten, that's... Some of these are definitely concerning. We have once bitten, point blank, run or hide, whose side are you on? Be her hero, who gets the gun? Man's best friend, there's our dog. To the rescue, and which one will die? Save yourself. Stick together, point blank. The result of chaos. Wow. Alright, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, at, I'm back at square one with my charitability. Oh, so much for that. And a whole lot less bravery, alright. I'll just go ahead and play this character as the coward, then. It's a good thing we put him in here, then. Alone. Ooh, can I use the light? The light switch over here. Nope. I figured maybe the lights work because of the, uh... The answering machine works just fine. Oh, man. I'm gonna die in here. What's that? Ready for senior prom. Back in 2013. a nice little family picture. Anything back here? No. Nope. Let's get back to that door. Haven't tried that one yet. So I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this house, so let's get familiar. No, nope. they're locking me in here. All right. So it's just in the bathroom is the best clear we have. The best clue we have. Well, I'd rather go up than down, but maybe that's just me being optimistic. Oh, cool. Creepy window. Well, that's why the door closed. See, it was just the wind. Just like it always is. Right? Can't close it. 
fine. I don't. I don't care about air conditioning. Who needs central heating when you've got a creaky window? Oh man. I could explore this place for a while, couldn't I? All right, Chris. Oh, cool. Creepy masks. What's wrong with your parents, Josh? Why do they collect these things? It's like this place is intentionally creepy or something. <laughs> There's a door, of course, but what's over here? Oh, that camera angle's got to be used in something creepy at some point. That is not... It's immediately something I don't like seeing is that camera angle. Super low one. They're being real. They're doing that low background creepy music. What are you building me up for, game? Is that, uh, is that the bathroom? Oh, wow. I'm impressed by your bathroom. All right, we found it. Good job. Get the fuck. Thanks for that. All right, I'm tense now. Perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here. By the way, there's a dog in the house. Just thought I might mention that. Creepy dog. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna be a big boy soon. Are we gonna call... We're gonna call Wolverines cute? I feel like that, that's an attitude that can end poorly. 